My name is Bryce Clements. I'm the anti-poaching manager for, for Savi Valley Conservancy. I do all the anti-poaching specifically on rhino um, in this area. We look after a huge key one population of rhino in Savi Valley, black and white rhino. And the last few days we've had the opportunity to, to test out a, um, a drone, a Phantom 3 drone with, with James Shuttleworth who's kindly come up and and uh, done the test for us, the field testing. It gives us the ability to have eyes in the sky ahead of our men. Um, we think this can be potentially life-saving for, for our men in the future. A um, number of scenarios, like for instance, we're working a new dog uh, canine unit and we've been trialling it with, with the dog and we're able to get the drone overhead our tracking unit as, we, as we're tracking um, potential poachers and we can see absolutely everything on the ground um, ahead of our, our dog and, and be able to guide our unit and, and bring them into the right positions that we need to, to make the arrests. We think this drone is going to be hugely helpful in clearance operations when we've had contacts with, with poachers, with armed poachers. And uh, say for instance, like the one case that we had when we, we wounded poachers, um, there were poachers that were wounded that were armed and they're potentially dangerous and could kill our rangers. Um, having had a drone in that situation could have been very, very um, helpful and useful because we could have easily got overhead and spotted the, the, the wounded poachers and gone in and made arrests. And, and, uh, and we also think that it, it can be very useful on, on boundary patrols um, for psychological operations, there's a lot that we can do um, to check on areas and, and, and places where there's vulnerable rhino. Hey folks, my name's uh, Shannon Clements and uh, uh, I'm an anti-poaching manager down in the south of Savi. My brother's running the operations up in the north, I run the southern region. and. Uh, we, it's, a, it's a massive undertaking and, and as you folks know, at the moment the war is escalating against, um, or just the, the rhino war in general is escalating, and the poaching is, is becoming a massive problem here. Um, there's new groups all the time that are, that are organizing themselves and, and, and trying to come into the area, and uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've been fighting hard and and we've been underpowered in, in a lot of ways with our manpower. We now have an, an eye in the sky and we have close comms with the, with the guy, with the pilot. Um, it's been fantastic just to see what it can do. And we do feel that if there was the thermal uh, aspect to it, would be, would, be, would be a real bonus as well because of low light. You know, during the evening, if we, if we carry an operation from day into night, that's where that's going to be massively useful to us.